Hello and welcome once again to my channel where I try to provide you Oracle related uh, content for your personal and professional development. And uh, certainly if you like content like this, go ahead and like uh, the channel, um, subscribe and enable notifications so that you stay informed of when we release new content. And uh, please share with your friends as well. Um, today, um, I have a little problem I'm trying to resolve. Um, so this is a test box that I had created. And if I uh, do um, say maybe a DF minus H, um, I am struggling with space on the root mount point. And um, I do have two versions of Oracle installed on this. So today I want to bring to you uh, what is the right way uh, to actually uninstall um, an Oracle version, an Oracle home. Um, so um, today the video is going to be based on that. It's a short video, it's a quick video. Um, and one of the things I'm trying to help, you know, other technologists, other DBAs avoid is just to go to that Oracle home and drop the whole folder because that is not the recommended way. Uh, it is still registered under the inventory. Um, Oracle, you know, um, still recognizes that that you know, version of that database is still existing. So uh, let me take you guys to what I have currently installed here. So if I CD, uh, I'm using the recommended path uh, for Oracle, uh, Oracle product. So under this location, um, I do have two versions of the Oracle database software installed. I have Oracle 12.201 and Oracle 19, uh, the base release. So um, let's see how these two homes are occupying uh, space. So both of them together are taking care of 15 uh, gigs of space on a 50 are located on the root mount point, which to me, um, uh, it's not so bad, it represents about 30%, uh, but it's still kind of significant. Is there a way that I can make, you know, um, available space grow? So if I go down a little bit deeper, du minus sh, and I go granular uh, per version, so 7.2 gig, you know, for 12.2 and 7.1 gig for 19. So because I have upgraded, you know, the databases that I had on 12 to 19, uh, technically, um, I no longer need this 12 to home. Uh, but if you're in your production environment or your development environment or at work and you're not struggling with space, uh, my recommendation would be leave it the way it is. Uh, but this is a test box. I need the space. I didn't allocate much to it in the beginning. So I want to show you guys today what the right way is um, to uninstall that version. And for us to be able to do that, um, there is a tool Oracle has called the deinstall tool. Now, the deinstall tool, uh, basically, uh, it's a tool that helps you uh, kind of remove Oracle software and configuration files uh, from the operating system uh, for a specific Oracle home. So the tool is a script that you can run separately uh, from the Oracle Universal Installer. Now, when I say that, there are two different ways. So uh, you can run the deinstall tool uh, directly, um, or you can actually, so when I say directly, I mean you can install it as a standalone tool. And I would CD into this Oracle home to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if I run a listing, um, on the Oracle home, remember my print working directory is my Oracle 12 home. So if I run a listing, <clears throat> there is a folder here called the deinstall folder. Now, if I CD into this deinstall folder and I run, uh, let's go on LL this time, there are some files. So uh, from a Linux perspective, um, the deinstall would be the program uh, that I would run in order to uh, deinstall my corresponding Oracle home. Now, you can also run this deinstall tool uh, from the Oracle Universal Installer uh, using the run installer script uh, or tool, but then you would have to specify um, that you are, you know, running 
a deinstall, not an install. Uh, but the method I'm going to use is, of course, using the deinstall tool from the deinstall folder within our Oracle Home that we are trying to draw. Now, I want you to be mindful of something. There always is a caution when you are uninstalling software, not necessarily only for Oracle, uh, but for what concerns Oracle, um, you have to remember that uh, when you install the software, it gets registered uh, with the central inventory. And uh, running a deinstallation, if you no longer have some other Oracle homes that are registered with that central inventory, it is going to remove uh, the admin file, the configuration pool logs file, the checkpoints file, the DIAC file, the ORA data file, and the fast recovery area file. These are the different files that are installed on top of the Oracle base location. And when I say Oracle base location during the installation of your Oracle software, it asked for an Oracle base, which is U01 app Oracle. So if I run a listing, on U01 app Oracle, no less uh, LS minus L, that way it lists in a line format. These folders, if the home that you are deinstalling is the only Oracle home that is on this Linux box or in the central inventory, all of these files are going to be deleted alongside it. So you want to be mindful of that. Uh, I'm not worried about that right now because I have a 19 home, which is also sitting on that Oracle base. So none of these folders are going to get touched. All right, so let's proceed uh, with run. So uh, let's, you know, like I mentioned, uh, LS minus L, um, I am going to use this deinstallation tool right here. And because I am in here already, I can call it with the dot forward slash deinstall. And um, just to make sure, right, that we all understand, you know, how to get help when we are doing things like this, if I use the dash help button, it should be able to tell me what uh, um, options I can add to this command to execute the way I would like it to execute. Okay, so uh, we can run the install directly or we can actually run with the dash help. So that tells us we can run it in silent mode using a parameter file, we can, run it in check only. Actually, I want to run it with this check only so that it kind of takes us through a check first. All right. Among the other ones, you know, local params. Now you can also use this to deinstall your grid home. Uh, but if you deinstall your grid home, of course, that's it has a lot more moving parts. And you would have to run the root has script after you know uh you the deinstallation is complete so for for this our deinstallation let's run the deinstallation tool with the check only and let's see what it says so when the check only completes it's going to give me a report when the check only uh completes and then after that um if everything looks good there then of course i would go ahead and run the deinstallation like that um, so it's asking me the first question. So it's going to try to remove, look at the home and see what is configured to run from that home. Uh, two things mainly, the list, if there is a listener running from that home and if there is a database running from that home. So it identifies uh, a listener that's running here. So enter dot to deselect all. Um, I'm just going to leave the default, um, which is, of course, it is going to deinstall this listener 12. Okay, now it is going to ask, specify a list of databases that are configured to run from this home. I don't currently have any. If I had any database here, then of course it is going to show me the list. And of course, if I hit enter, of course, it's usually the default. So let's take a look at our deconfiguration check operation summary. So the Oracle home listed for deinstall is the 12C home, 12 to home. The inventory location where the Oracle home registered is U01 app inventory. Following single instance listeners will be deconfigured. So I have a listener 12, like I mentioned, in that home, which is going to be installed. So checking config status for CCR. CCR, um, I mean, I know a lot of people really are not familiar with this, but this is when you're talking about Oracle configuration manager, right? Um, it is usually not configured by default and CCR actually stands for customer configuration repository. Uh, we're not going to talk about that much in this, you know, in this video, uh, but it has a lot to do with Oracle configuration manager. 
So there is a response file that was created for this. Uh, log of this session is shown right here. Uh, any error messages from this session would be written to this. So let's take a look at this just to see if we had any error message. So let's cut the contents of that. And we don't see any errors. We cut the contents. There is nothing in this uh, file right here. Um, it says error messages. If there were any error messages when it was running um, our deconfig check operation, it would have been written to this file. So what that tells us is if we do want to deinstall this home right now, uh, we can just issue the command deinstall and it's going to bootstrap. And then, of course, we are off to the races uh, with deinstalling that Oracle home. So let's do that. Now, if I don't want terminal output, I could use um, the forward slash silent. Uh, but I really want to see what's going on at the terminal. So we are right here. Uh, this is kind of where. Uh, we started our deinstall. So everything that's coming up right now, uh, remember the questions he was asking us in the beginning. I'm going to hit enter uh, so that it defaults to listener 12. Uh, I don't have any databases like I mentioned earlier. I'm going to hit enter. So um, it is asking me if I want to continue. So this is the moment where I say yes or no. So I would go with Y for yes and N for no. I would go with Y for yes. So let's go. And let's go ahead and do that. So it is going to start cleaning um, that location, that Oracle home. Just detaching the home and that was quick. So it is now completed. So um, this is our deinstallation clean operation summary. Uh, it successfully detached Oracle home from the central inventory on the local node. It successfully deleted the directory, the Oracle home directory on the local node and Oracle universal installer cleanup was successful. So, um, if we have to review permissions of the contents of U01 Oracle app, and like I mentioned, if this is in the event that uh, you didn't have um, any other homes, it would have deleted those folders I mentioned. So uh, the Diag, or data, Pass Recovery Area, Checkpoints, Config Tools, uh, Logs folder. All right, so um, if there are no Oracle homes associated with this, manually delete that and its contents. No, we have uh, a 19C home in our case, uh, which is of course associated with that, uh, with that Oracle base. So um, folks, this is a quick way um, and a neat way. This is the right way uh, to kind of deinstall your Oracle home. So um, let's take a look at this here. So uh, let's CD into U01 product and then let's see what happens here. So if I do an LS minus L, uh, there is the 12 to home and let's see the into that. There is the DB underscore one, which has been taken away. So this folder has been deleted. So there is no point in me keeping the 12 to. So to finish up my cleanup, uh, if I see the back one space and I do an LS minus L, oh, sorry, LS minus L. So I can remove this folder safely. Again, I always ask you know, uh, you guys to proceed with caution. Anytime you're using the remove or the remove or any variation of the remove function, I am removing a folder. So I use the remove minus R and I, 12, and I do 12 to 01. Each time you're using a remove function from the Linux operating system, this is an irreversible uh, transaction unless your file systems are getting backed up and kept somewhere. Um, I always recommend that you proceed with caution. So if I remove this 12201 and now uh, LS minus L, I have only my 19 home. Now see what happens to my space, DU minus SH um, 7.1. And eventually uh, if I do a DF minus H on my root file system, 
I have recovered that file and I am now at 56% usage. Now, is there more I can do to liberate space? Yes, but I wanted to show you guys how to properly deinstall an Oracle Hub in you know, situations where you need you know, space or you're cleaning up the version of that. So thank you for watching. And I certainly would see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to enable not notifications. Please share the videos. Uh, this might help someone. Thank you very much.